Hello and welcome back to the channel Airbus What's It Doing Now and uh, today we're going to take a look at rotation rates and uh, specifically the rotation technique and uh, how we can help you achieve um, what Airbus are talking about this three degrees uh, per second. Um, now we've covered rotation rates in previous episodes and we've looked at the um, considerations uh, for and the and the consequences of over rotation under rotating it's been covered by Airbus quite a bit they've also produced uh, a number of safety articles which we've covered um, and uh, we've had a look at it on uh, on Airbus what's it doing now specifically and I'll put a link uh, in the um, uh, above here which you can click on if you haven't already uh, take and um, taken a look at those so like I said we're going to talk about Airbus rotation rates and the techniques we use in order to achieve it uh, but let's have a quick revision of what airbus actually says and i've taken an extract here straight from the uh, fctm and they talk about this three degrees per second the aircraft should lift off at around 10 degrees and uh, in your ops ops manual and yours may be different uh, but it will say that we want to achieve a pitch of um, 15 degrees so we've got to get this three degrees per second up to 15 degrees well it's actually difficult to know what three degrees per second looks like uh, there's nothing in the flight deck which helps us with that and the wonderful thing would be if there was this little uh, rotation rate meter we pull the side stick wait for it to hit that that number and then we just leave it wouldn't we but we haven't got that so we have to interpret um, what that uh, what that looks like and I'm going to give you some um, uh, helps uh, some some assistance with that in uh, in just a second now, if we've got no indication inside the flight deck to help us with that, well, then we've got a big reference uh, outside our window and uh, the uh, horizon um, on, on, a, on a normal day does get a little bit more difficult when the horizon's a little bit more hazy, and more foggy conditions. But we'll talk about that uh, in just a second. But we've got a really good reference um, right outside our window. Now, um, in terms of the uh, different aircraft types that will fly, the 19, the 20, and the 21, the Neo and the CO, they will all feel they will all feel slightly different uh, depending on the day, depending on the CFG, and depending on the takeoff uh, configuration. Okay, uh, when whether it's a 19 or whether it's a 320, so that side stick will feel slightly different. And the Neo also has this rotation mode. Uh, which I'll pick up an extract uh, from the FCOM here for you, uh, which enables this homogeneous rotation um, for all possible weights, COG, and configuration, which complicates the matter slightly more, but it offers an extra protection. Now that's available um, until I think 10 seconds after takeoff and about um, above eight degrees pitch. But again, so a NEO will feel slightly different to a CO, CEO, and a 19 will feel slightly different to a 20. So we've got quite a few things going on here, and we've got the ground mode, which then uh, transitions in uh, to G load, uh, so direct law to G load, and then we have to be a bit careful about how we manage that side stick as we transition uh, through those modes. So quite a bit um, going on. So if we've got all that, and depending on the different types that we're flying and uh, the different uh, assistance modes that the aircraft has, it's even more important to have this datum. And I mentioned to you about having this uh, datum outside. Now, if we know that we need to get to 15 degrees, we need to know what approximately what 15 degrees looks like. And we need to get there at three degrees per second. Well, if it's three degrees per second to 15 degrees, if we can count a linear five seconds at three degrees per second, then we will reach 15 degrees. And that's just simple math, even I can do that. Um, but we need to know what that looks like outside. Now, in my experience, and what I try to um, encourage the trainees to do if they're, if they're struggling with their rotation rate, is to try, the, the aim is, is to put the combing and again, this is providing you're seated correctly. Uh, you've got the, uh, the the red and the white balls all lined up, uh, and uh, and I've covered seating position in a previous videos. But provided you're seated correctly, um, if you put the combing actually on the horizon, that will be there or thereabouts 15 degrees. Okay. So if we go from the takeoff roll where your um, pilot monitoring shouts out rotate 
if you can count a linear five seconds to put the combing from when the point you get called rotate up to the horizon line in a linear five seconds you will achieve there or thereabouts three degrees per second okay once you reach the horizon line then come into the flight deck and have a look at your pfd okay definitely do not use the flight director pitch bar for your rotation okay because it does not give you um, the rotation rate that you need all right nor does it give you the pitch initially okay so your datum is outside rotate and if you wish just count in your head one two three four five okay once you've got the horizon line or the combing on the horizon line then look inside and then use your flight director pitch bar to make the final adjustments the combing on the horizon is there or thereabouts around uh, 15 degrees and it's a very useful uh, reference for you especially as so much is going on as we said earlier on depending on the 19 20 21 ceo and neo and the mode blending as it happens over that uh, four or five seconds okay so that's that's your your main reference now i mentioned earlier on about um if it gets a little bit hazy or uh, misty or foggy then you lose that horizon and that gets a little bit more difficult okay and that's something you'll learn as you go along but if if you've got that initial rotation rate and you know what that looks like then even on those foggier conditions um, you'll be in a much better place now if it, if it is foggy uh, then you lose a horizon fairly quickly after after you after you rotate then you'll need to come inside into the flight deck a little bit earlier then to follow that flight director uh, or, or to, to come to, to get to that 15 degrees and then follow your flight director okay but on a but on, but on, but on a sort of a standard day the horizon line is your friend and count that five seconds to reach that horizon in a linear transition you'll be there or thereabouts and then come inside if it's a misty foggy day with not much of a horizon you may need to come in slightly earlier but again keep that rotation rate uh, going so um, some of the common uh, errors that we see one we've just uh, spoken about is using the flight directors too early okay uh, so Keep your eyes outside as much as you can before you transition in and then keep that transition rate going. Don't use the flight director pitch bar initially uh, to uh, assess your uh, rotation rate. Uh, the next, um, some of the other things that we see is holding at around 10 degrees. We see this on the CEO uh, often uh, as the tail of the aircraft uh, on rotation goes into this sort of ground effect, making the tail plane less um, effective uh, and then you then just have to keep pulling slightly in order to maintain that transition. Again, looking outside will give you the picture and will tell you if you're hanging at 10 degrees because because you're gonna you know the 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 rate will just slow down. Okay, then if that happens, you're just going to have to apply a bit more um, uh, side stick. Now, over rotation is the opposite end uh, or one end of the scale, I should say, where we pull back too quickly. Okay. And the risk of that, of course, is that uh, we could have a tail strike. Instructors out there, if you are watching this video, take over push button. Very effective, uh, particularly in an over rotation mode, uh, in a situation. Press a take over push button. There will be some slight inertia the aircraft goes through, but as soon as you press that take over push button, because your stick is in the neutral position, the air, the, the, the the rate will almost stop, which will allow you then, with the take over push button still pressed. Uh, to um, put an in, uh, make an input, uh, a relevant input, in order to correct the error and to put the aircraft into the correct uh, attitude. So instructors, over rotation or under rotation, press the takeover push button, uh, keep holding it, and then make the necessary uh, inputs, but particularly useful for over rotation because it stops the rotation. Um, under rotation we spoke about a little bit earlier on that the risk for under rotation uh, a slower rate uh, is performance okay in the first and second segment and I think I've got a clip here somewhere uh, a, a visual example here of the effect on uh, on of uh, under rotation and there was an article written by Airbus on the three 340 had a single engine failure the rotation was so slow uh, that they were only a matter of feet uh, away from the um, upwind uh, lighting uh, of the runway 
uh, and uh, had the conditions been uh, slightly less favourable, uh, there'd be question marks as to whether they'd even have, uh, have made it. Uh, so under rotation, uh, just as important a focus as over uh, rotation. So guys, just to recap then, whether you're on a 19, 20, 21 uh, CEO or NEO, just look outside, okay? You've got a nice horizon line, a nice linear transition, counting five seconds uh, to put the combing on the horizon line and then look inside, okay? If it isn't rotating uh, the way in which you want it to, all right, then make the correction on the side stick, all right? Get the aircraft to do what you want it to do. Uh, the CEO, the NEO will feel differently. The 19, the 20, even if it's trimmed, will feel different and it will be different from day to day. What won't change, however, is, the, is your picture outside. And as long as you can keep that transition of five degrees um, up to 15 degrees, so five seconds up to 15 degrees, five seconds up to 15 degrees, that's three degrees per second, nice linear transition. You'll be there or thereabouts to be able to come indoors then and uh, follow the flight director pitch command and then remembering to relax the pressure on the side stick as it blends into G loading uh, and that's consistent from single engine uh, as, as, as it is in uh, two engine okay good and instructors take over push button very important really useful especially with over rotation because that will pretty much stop uh, the um, the rate and allow you to then make the necessary inputs to make the correction. Good guys, I hope that's uh, been useful for you. Uh, nice short video here. Stay safe, keep the plate spinning, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on another episode of Airbus. What's it doing now in the near future? Thanks for tuning in, and bye for now.